Hello Cancer, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Cancer, this is your reading for the month of uh, April, for the last 15 days of April. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Cancer, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. Uh, in this reading, Cancer, we'll see what is your energy, what you need to know for the next 15 days of April. Uh, what you need to know regarding your love life, what is the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with, you will be dealing with. Let's get started. Two of Swords. Yes, clearly this is an indication of you feeling confused, you trying to answer certain questions, but still experiencing the dilemma. On one hand, you will experience an emotional attraction towards something or someone. On another hand, your brain is trying to tell you something and you're you're getting convinced with whatever your rational brain is also trying to tell you. On another hand, you're also getting convinced with what your emotional side is trying to convey to you. So I, I see that although there is a very strong intention to take an unbiased decision towards something or someone, uh, you will do everything, uh, weigh the pros and the cons and uh, try to make an unbiased decision. But still you will notice that even while making a decision, you are getting pulled towards one specific side. Okay, either, either you are trying either you will find that your mind is getting inclined towards what your emotions are trying to tell you or either you will find that your mind is heavily inclined towards what your rational brain is trying to tell you okay so the intention is to make an unbiased decision but still i see that uh, you will be pulled towards one side of the story very much okay however because of the fact that you will be putting in so much of efforts to make the right de uh, decision uh, to take an unbiased decision uh, the desire to not to make a mistake is also very strong okay uh, knight of cups maybe someone is coming towards you with an offer of love <clears throat> cancer i feel that uh, there is a presence of a strong feminine energy in your life okay uh, if not feminine energy, there is a presence uh, of someone whose feminine energy is very high. Okay, if not a female, then there might be a male whose feminine energy is very high as compared to their masculine energy. Uh, however, what I see is like this, who, this person really wants to interfere in your decision making processes a lot. This can be a mother, this can be a father. They really want to have a say in whatever decisions you are taking in your life. Uh, maybe some of you had a strict upbringing. Maybe uh, your, you had uh, influence. You are, your parents had a great influence on you. Uh, and even as of now, they, your, whoever this person is, whether it is a parent, a sibling, a friend, a teacher, a mentor, I feel like they still want to control you to a large extent. They, the, the desire to control you, the desire to shape your life is still there. Okay. And uh, I, I kind of feel that whoever this person is, hmm, you have got tired of them. You don't want them to tell you what you should be doing. You don't want them to tell you you don't want to receive any kind of directions from this person you don't want them to tell you how you should lead your life or how you should make the decisions or what kind of decisions you should be making okay whoever this person is you are done with them uh, not particularly done with them but i see that you don't want them you don't want them to be nosy okay you want to be more independent you want to take uh, decisions on your own and
I also feel that you want to experience love, Cancer. Okay, you want to experience love. That it's like it. It feels like someone has kept love away from your life. Okay, whoever this controlling energy is, whether it's a parent or a sibling. They want you to focus on a couple of things in your life and they don't want you to experience love right now. They are like you, you kind of chase your goals and then you think about love. But, and that is also one of the reasons why I feel like you want to feel emotional about a certain situation. But someone is not allowing you to do that. You want to get into a romantic situation. You want to experience love. You want to be in a relationship. It doesn't matter who that person is. You really want to experience love and affection and care. But there is a presence of controlling energy and they don't want you to do that. I don't know why. This is this is very weird. Okay. Or the, it, it can be a friend as well who is jealous of you, who is trying to influence you in a negative way. They don't want you to fall in love. Okay. Because they get jealous quickly or this friend might be slightly possessive and obsessive about you. There is someone in your life, Cancer, either they want to control you, control your life decisions. Or there is someone who is jealous of you and they don't want you to be happy. They Specifically when it comes to love life, whether they are controlling or whether they are jealous, they don't want to experience, they don't want you to experience love. They are literally conditioning you in a certain direction. They are conditioning you in a specific manner. Conditioning you that love is not important right now. And whereas your soul is literally dying for love. This can be a work colleague. This can be a friend. This can be a sibling, parent. This can be your neighbor. You're a sensitive soul, Cancer, okay? you. For some of you, this can also be an ex, by the way. You're sensitive souls. You have to be slightly careful as far as, uh, you know, people who indulge into... People who indulge into magic and all that stuff, you have to, you have to keep yourself away from such kind of people, okay? Because... Your soul feels a certain kind of energy from uh, from a person who is coming towards you. If you are feeling good about that person, if the energy that you are receiving from that person is good, fine, go ahead and and maintain contact with that person. Deal, continue dealing with that person. But if you are not feeling good, if your soul and your body is reacting in a negative way when the person is coming towards you, absolutely maintain distance from them. Because I feel like someone is not happy with with you. I mean, they simply want to control you. They are jealous of you. They don't want you to experience happiness. Unfortunately, if this is a parent, they are very strict or they have conditioned you in a certain manner. And your soul is craving for love right now. Your soul is absolutely craving for love. Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands. Oh my God. <laughs> Three of Cups. Trust me, if you want to experience happiness, you have to drop those connections. You better drop something, Cancer. There is happiness and joy and love is waiting for you. But then there is something that needs to go away from your energy. Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands together? Are you kidding me? Like, this is a very strong indication that you need to eliminate someone from your life. And it's high time that you eliminate that person from your life. There is a, it's, it's high time. If you really want to experience true love, unconditional love, care and affection, it's high time you eliminate someone from your life. Okay. Literally, your soul is craving. Your soul is craving. Okay, first of all, Cancer, listen to me. A couple of things. I want you to do core cutting rituals. 
if you know who this person is while doing the cord cutting rituals you're going to uh you're going to take the name of this person and like you you are you're going to let the universe know that i want to cut the cords with this person if you don't know who this person is if you don't know who is sending negativity towards you you simply have to make a general statement during the cord cutting rituals that anyone sending negative energy towards me i'm cutting the cords with that person okay so it's a, you can frame the statement the way you want to be just make sure that it has to be in the present tense it cannot be in the future tense okay like i am cutting the cords or you cannot say like i will cut the cords no i am cutting the cords or i have cut the cords okay that is what that is much better i have cut the cords with anyone and everyone who are sending negative energy towards me or who is sending negative energy towards me you don't have to feel you don't have to worry about it it is simply that love is round the corner but this is what you need to do before and don't worry everyone goes through such kind of phases in their life okay all right i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe comment on below till then take care and bye bye